Health Secretary, a lot of people would say to you, why do you need a report to tell you what is common sense, which is basically if you have too few nurses, you're going to have problems? Uh, good morning, Eamon. Um, well, the reason that we got this report done was because we had the Francis report into the tragedy at Midstaffs, um, and it talked about changing the culture in the NHS to a, a zero-harm culture, much closer to the airline industry, where uh, you have occasionally tragedies in the airline industry, but they are very, very rare, and they're treated in a very, very particular way. And uh, Don Berwick is uh, the world's eminent expert on patient safety in hospitals. He's the best there is, and David Cameron decided to ask him what he thought we needed to do to change the culture, not just with ministers saying, you know, do this or do that, but actually how do you change the culture on the front line in well, a, a hospital? A lot of people would say you just need more bodies, not well, dead ones, incidentally. When I say bodies, I mean staff, and particularly nursing staff. Well, I'm sure that's one of the solutions, and there's definitely evidence of hospitals that are paired back on staff. Perhaps they're trying to sort out their finances to get foundation trust status, and uh, they've made the wrong call over the staffing numbers, and we need to sort that out. But it's not just that. It's also about staff feeling able to speak out if they see something that's wrong. It's about giving support to whistleblowers like Helen Donnelly, the whistleblower at Midstaffs, who, yeah. who very bravely spoke out. It's about creating a culture of openness and a kind of and a learning culture well, so that when things go wrong people actually talk about it about and the hospital makes about, a big effort to learn from its mistakes. But what about this proposal that there would be a legal obligation uh, to come clean? It's a difficult one that one. I mean you'd like to think that morally you would but um, I suppose if you if you do come clean uh, you stand a chance of getting getting sacked, getting disciplined or, or being prosecuted and it seems to me like a sort of lose-lose situation for staff. Well, NHS staff do already have a what's called a contractual duty of candour, so they are already obliged in their contracts to speak out if they see something that's going wrong. And uh, the question that we asked Professor Berwick to look at is whether there should be criminal sanctions. And it's, you're right, it's a very difficult issue, and we'll wait to see what he says later this morning. The, the thing you want to be careful about is that you don't create a culture of fear in hospitals, because if we're going to get this right, we need to tap into the the goodwill of NHS staff who work very, very hard. They're under a lot of pressure. And they became doctors and nurses because they want to do the right thing. And so we need to tap into that. And so it's just getting that balance right if we're going to have a very positive culture and but, yeah. eliminate these safety incidents. But, but balance is a, is a key word in all of this. Minimum staffing levels, uh, and you may well get another report saying to you, because uh, we, we've previously um, had the, uh, the report earlier in the year, the Robert Francis report six months ago, saying you need more staff. What is your view on uh, staffing patient ratios and why isn't there a, a national standard for that? Well, we do need more staff. I mean, we've got four and a half thousand more doctors in the NHS since the last election, and we need more. Um, and, you know, the NHS is under a great deal of pressure. What I'm hesitant to do is to say that one size fits all, because even within the same hospital, you'll have two different wards with very different staffing needs. One of them may have a lot more older people with very complex needs who need a lot of nursing care. Another may not have quite such a great degree of need. And, and what Robert Francis talks about in his report is proper tools that assess the need on a ward-by-ward -ward basis so that every ward gets the staffing that it needs, and it's done in a scientific way. But, but, and we'll see what Professor Berwick says in his report today. But, you know, I think where hospitals are paired back on staff, that is, you know, in a way that's not appropriate, then clearly there are safety implications for that, and, and we need to stop that. You, you sound very empathetic uh, towards what is being discussed and what is being uh, looked at here, but are you actually going to do anything about it? It's, it's fine having a very good bedside manner with all of this, but are we going to see action? Will you implement? Because as I said, the Francis report was out six months ago. We now have another report looking at a report. What's going to happen now? Well, I think, you know, I'll take that as a, a backhanded compliment, Eamon, but I have set my stall out on changing the culture in the NHS, on actually doing things, not commissioning endless reports. So what have we done since the Francis report came out? We have appointed a chief inspector of hospitals. He's started work. He's uh, already selected the first 18 hospitals. He's going to be doing, for the first time in the NHS, Ofsted-style inspections of NHS hospitals. We've introduced an obligation on all hospital boards 
to be honest with patients uh, when there are issues of harm and uh, we've said there'll be criminal sanctions if they lie about the harm incidents in their hospitals. Are we uh, going to see, more, we nurse see training. new nurses? I mean, there's a great long list of things that we've done straight away but this particular thing about changing the culture so that uh, you know, from the front line, from the, the most junior person in an operating theatre up to the most senior consultant. Yes, there is I a can, culture we can of understand that everybody, that, that, everybody. That, sorry, it's important. That is something that we wanted to actually ask the world's biggest expert on this. Good. How okay. do you actually get that right? Look, we that, regret that everybody, everybody is going to do their job better and everybody is, is going to, you know, do the things to the best of their own abilities. But we still come down to the fact, are we going to see more new nurses because, I mean, you said there's more doctors, but what about nurses on the wards? That seems to be what the experts are saying. That seems to be what the patients want. Are you going to put pen to paper and write that cheque? And if so, how are you going to pay for that cheque? Well, with respect, Eamon, as you know, we've protected the NHS budget. Are we going to see no, more no, nurses listen, on the wards if it's if recommended? Ask. You've got to let me answer the question. Well, you're if not you answering the, the question. I've asked you three times. Well, you're not, you're not allowing me to answer. Are we going to see more I nurses will. or not, if it's recommended? With respect, I've just said to you that we have protected the NHS budget at a time when other government department budgets have all been cut. But I don't think it's right for me, as health secretary at the centre, to tell each hospital, you are required to hire this many nurses and this see, many doctors. See, I thought doctors. you were the big Overall, boss. I thought it was right for you. Staff, has gone up in the if NHS. If you're not going to tell them, who is but, going to tell them? Well, I think actually it's for people on the front line to decide. We've had a top-down NHS where ministers have decided things and tried to mandate things to the centre, and that hasn't worked. And one of the reasons... If, what about national this, well, ratios? On, would they work? This is the standard, one size fits all. Why not that? Because if you read the report that's going to be published later this morning, it actually says that a targets culture where there are lots of things imposed from the centre can be very counterproductive. Actually, what you want is a culture that goes right to the, to the most junior people in a hospital, and that's what this report is about. And if we need more staffing, that's one of the issues. We also need more openness, more candour. Uh, we need better training. There's a whole range of issues, and we need to tackle all of those. And in the end, for me, uh, the proof of the pudding, what I'm accountable for, is making okay. sure that where there are failures, where there are hospitals and, in special measures, and, we turn those round. And, and what that's about what more, I've said that I'm going to do. What about more openness and more candour from the Secretary of State?